Welcome to Retro Gaming Online's 4th of July edition of Video Games Monthly Unboxing. Uh, today we have three boxes. Um, myself, I have Nintendo and Super Nintendo games inside my box. Steve? Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega, 64, and PlayStation. Sheesh. And then Mark has... <laughs> Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Yeah, so Steve Actually, gets a whole you... bunch, a little bit mm -hmm. of everything. Um, so if you don't know what Video Games Monthly is, I'm pretty sure most of you do already, but it's a subscription service that sends you retro video games every month based on the consoles that you choose, a wish, wish list that you create, and you also make a list of the games you already have to help uh, kind of minimize duplicates. Um, and they're pretty good at following that, and you know, we, we rarely get anything duplicates except for when I forget to update my list. Yeah. Which is regularly. And so you, you think they would send you a reminder every month? Right, right. right yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so um, if please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook at Retro Gaming Online or Facebook.com slash Retro Gaming Online. I guess we'll jump right into the boxes. I guess I'll go first. All right. Make you some room here. Let's see what we got. We got a bigger table this I know, time. Nice I table. Know. Maybe Woo, Steve seven. won't knock everything oh. over. Actually, you did that. Yeah. We got our oh look at that an update uh, a reminder to update your library and a twenty five cent pack of tattoos Super Mario or Nintendo tattoos nineteen eighty nine is that what it says and I looked them up really I saw people getting them and I actually nineteen eighty it's crazy they found those and then they gave them away which is even I'm gonna more cooler. I'm going to have to hide and this And it has a piece of gum in there. <laughs> I don't, yeah. God, I don't even know what that gum was made of. I just remember opening baseball cards back in the day. Oh, yeah, you can feel the gum. I'm not eating that. I'm, uh, I, gotta I keep, think you should have your kids eat it. i got to hide that from the kids because <laughs> be they'll open it and put them all over. <laughs> all right, first uh, game is an NES game. Oh, nice. Whoa. Baseball stars. I've, pro I've mentioned this in a few videos. This is one of my favorite games. If you... Uh, Check the link either here or here. I'm gonna it'll pop up. You'll see my top ten NES game video. Baseball Stars is one of those games. I just remember as a kid just making entire teams of my. I had one team that was like my all my friends, and then another team that was like all my family. Now did that um I know it had like women in it. Mm -hmm. Did they pitch underhand or overhand in that? I can't remember. I don't remember. I I I remember. I think in part two they pitched underhand, but I don't remember about this. One. I didn't know there was a part two until I started collecting. Yeah, I didn't know in part two as a kid. Yeah, um, I definitely had baseball stars and spending all that time. And I used to hide in my, behind my bed. There was a window, and I used to hide my game up on the on the um, curtain rod. Like I would balance it between the curtain rod and the wall, so my brother didn't find it and delete my oh, games because uh, he deleted my Sim City. I worked on that thing for hours. Huge city. He deleted the that whole damn sucks. thing. Nice. So for that on anything that I saved, I used to hide up on the curtain. Mm. And you can talk about him because he's not here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Scott. You guys would probably don't even remember who he is. Yeah. And then game number two is Home Alone 2. <laughs> One of my favorite movies. Lost in New York. My kid is five and he loves Home Alone. Oh. Like he watches Home Alone. It's in the car right now and it just plays constantly. We've been watching it since December. Oh yeah. Um, my, my son... First time he saw the first one, and he, you know, does ah, yeah. Now every time he sees him, that's what he does. My son loves Marv. <laughs> that's, his, that's his favorite character in the in the show is Marv. Next game is a Super Nintendo. No, that's a Nintendo game. Destination Earth Star. Is that what it says? I can't read with these damn glasses on. Earth Star. Yep. Yeah. I guess it's a. It looks like a. It looks Star Wars like the. I wonder and if everything. It, is it a side scroller? Is it a. I don't know. I've never played that one. That'd be a nice one to try. That's pretty cool. Yep, got it. And the fourth and final game is a Super Nintendo game Harley's Humongous Adventure. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Wow. It's not that I can't read, but like it's really tall, small, and vertical on there. Never played that either. I assume the, he's really tiny. Like, he's holding a thumbtack in his hand, so it's probably like a Honey, oh, I Shrunk yeah. the Kids kind of adventure game. That'd be pretty cool to check out. That does look pretty cool. Never yeah. heard of that. Never heard of it. Cool. Put this right here. All right. All my games survived without falling over. Nice. All right. I guess I'll go next. Let's see. 
Same old update your list card. Got the gum too. Just try this. Uh, are you gonna try? Are you gonna eat it? You actually gonna open it? Oh man! Wow. Oh. Is your wife in there? Let's too? see. Let's see the. Um, show me the tattoos. Oh, not it's like just powder now. It's just powder. Yeah, it probably <laughs> that's falls. Not, that's not good at all. You probably want to have a disease. Hmm. <laughs> that go somewhere. Put it in there. Oh, what's this? Yeah, use that. Mm. Here, we'll open up. While he disposes of that, we'll open up the... Uh... <laughs> oh, that was very not good. Very not good. Take a sip. <laughs> so we have a, a cactus, we have a link, a flying fish, Mario in a plane, a bomb. Okay. Looks like one of the guys from Punch-Out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's actually really cool. That is neat. It's like a mix between Pepto-Bismol and sand. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. I mean, they were good back in the day. I mean, I don't yeah, know why you cool. would even try. Nice. We'll have to, uh... I could actually tell you the last wax packs I think I ever had was, like, back in 1986. <laughs> because I was collecting baseball cards. <laughs> it just looks so inappropriate now as an adult. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember Garbage Pail Kids. That was the last yeah, one. Yeah, Garbage Pail Kids. Oh, I love Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, they were so much fun. Anyway, back anyway, to the Back to the... All right, first Nintendo game is Batman, the video game. Nice. Cool. I played the crap out of that. I, I, I was always so... Is that the blue Batman? That's the one where you can jump off the walls. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he, I think it was blue. He wasn't like I think black. so. But I, re, I, re, I always remember being fascinated because I never played a game where you can jump off the walls before and you would go choo, 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 and get all the way up right. to the top. It was awesome. Well, that was on um, Street, Street Fighter, like, <laughs> 2020 or whatever. Yeah. Was the first time you could, I ever seen anything flip off a wall. Uh, millipede. Oh, nice. Millipede. R R classic. Classic. Yeah, that is classic. Yeah, let's put a little millipede there. My house is crooked, so this floor is not the most All level. Right. Road Riot 4x4. Four-wheel drive, sorry. Yeah. Road Riot right, four-wheel drive. You guys play that? It's like a, oh, it's like a never pro seen ram kind of knockoff. I don't know. I always loved the um, off road games. Uh, Super off road was my favorite. Yeah. The Super first off -road one, not that Baja one. That the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Both for um, NES and uh, Super NES. They were really good. And then you had Super Sprint. That was a cool game. Super yeah. Sprint. Last one. Uh, so, Turtles Tournament Fighter. Nice. Oh, cool. That, I played the crap out yeah. of that game. A lot, a lot of quarters in the arcade. Yeah, my I was never into like fighter games, but um, I mean, I'd play Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and stuff. That was the one that we had like a sleepover at my buddy's house. Like it was like me and all of his cousins, and we just played that all night long. Oh, um, um, looks like a little uh, little business card in here too. So I guess if you uh, share a photo of your box on the Facebook page, you get entered to win an extra three games for next month. Oh, nice! Sweet. So that's pretty I, I, I sweet. I didn't dig deep into my box. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's I did that last month, and my, my box is... Uh... I know, box, Steve's box is pregnant. Man, look at that. It's pregnant with goodness. That's awesome. That thing is full. But you don't got powdered gum in there. I bet I do. <laughs> now it's... You got your, the only way to know is... Oh! oh! There we go. Ah! Why not? Coming in hot. Boom. Right off the bat. I do got my powder. Oh, it gets... I wonder if it's definitely. better than his. You should yeah, try. Yeah, I mean, you got a one up. So that gum's probably a year fresher. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Keep that all together. Reminder. Yeah. Reminder. Hand that to you. Oh, yeah, we'll keep that here. I should put that up on my. Uh... Like just floating in the corner. Yeah. Oh, we got a 64 game WCW NWO Revenge. I loved those wrestling games. Me, my dad, my brother, and my stepbrother would. Like, I remember being, like, all being crammed in the bedroom playing that, doing Royal Rumbles. My dad would create the most ridiculous created superstars ever. Like, oh, you crazy. Create that one? It was either that one or the I, next one. I thought you could edit characters oh, on that. Oh, really? One. And um, he would just make the most. They, they were all, like, straight out of a cartoon. They were just always bright colors, crazy oh, masks, wow. wild hair. It was nuts. Because you always knew when his guy was coming down. All right. ATV Quad Power Racing Acclaim Sports. Never played that one. I wonder if it's open world. Has an open world option? Probably not. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was like back then like, they didn't really yeah, have a lot of that. It wasn't. 
open world alternative track. Yeah. Else we got <laughs> Go here. left instead of right. <gasps> nice. Oh, oh, oh. Gold. Lake. It's gold. Mm, big gold. I might tighten that one up. Yeah. A bit. I never. I. I. I people <gasps> see. I knew it, Steve. It was too close. <laughs> This is too close. People talk about it being a good game, but I I'd never gotten into it as a kid because it was so different. I wanted Zelda yeah, two. I was, wanted like uh, the yeah. Adventures of uh, the Legend of Zelda two. I didn't want a totally different game. Right. I've gone back and played it since, and it's it's all right. I but... played it. It was. Uh, I think if I had more time, I I would spend more time with it. But if if a Zelda, if I'm gonna sit, spend time playing a Zelda. I'm just going to play either one or oh yeah, A Link to the Past or something yeah. like that. Oh, hey! Buster bust loose. Oh. I got that last, last So did one. I. Now Steve joined the club. Now we all no, I got a green green background now. Yeah, mine was faded to a <laughs> almost a bluish. It was a 9.99 game somewhere. <laughs> At one point, yeah. <laughs> Alright, and we got one more. Let's see what we got. I thought the box, dude. Whole box. Oh, nice. Bugs Bunny in Double Trouble for Genesis. Oh, is it complete? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. it's in a manual. Yeah. That's okay, though. Not for resale. Um, huh. Hmm. Well, it's good if it was a free game. Why would so it say not for resale if it was in a box? Did it come with a system? I wonder if it was a rental. It was a rental. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so it was a rental. What's the... I mean... Oh, uh, that's your Sega Cheats. It has like the Sega Cheats hotline on there. Yeah. It, uh, what was it? Four ninety nine a minute or something. Probably. A dollar fifty a minute. Dollar fifty a minute. Do you mind if I put you on hold while I look that up for a few? Oh, a dollar fifty was for live, and ninety five cents was for a pre recorded message. Hey, what did you ask my stutter? You. Would, would, I, I remember. I called one one time. <laughs> Do you know that contra code? I can't. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't remember what game I, I was playing, but I called them for one game. I, it might have been Dragon War. And what kind of guarantee did you have on them? Like, if they said do this and it didn't work, did, could you call them back and get your minute back? Or no, I think you did it while you were playing. <laughs> oh, while man, you were with them. Better. Yeah, well, that's what I, I did there. <laughs> anyway, well, not a bad haul here. Um, I got one of my favorite games ever. Steve got a gold. Uh, Adventures of Link. I got Tournament Fighters. You so. got Tournament Fighters and an Upset Stomach. Um, yeah. Not a bad day. Yep. So, uh, like I said, be sure to subscribe. Check out the video that I'll post in the description um, for our, my top 10 NES games of all time. And leave a comment in that video as to what your favorite, um, what your top 10 NES games are. Um, but until next month, thanks a lot. Later. Thank you.